Kai or K asked me on the tatchat.com, I want to get a full moon on my finger. Is that possible or is the area too small for that? So um, I thought I would sort of just uh, actually just show you here. You see fresh tattoos versus healed tattoos. And these are very good examples. This is, you know, a normal text to show you that when it heals, finger tattoos will not stay detailed and amazing, you know, for years. It, it won't. So um, when you're making even even this one, I mean, this is just horribly done anyway. Uh, look at the fresh tattoo. It, it's, it's not a good tattoo. But, and then I saw, um, okay, this, for example, that's not a tattoo. That's just like these. It's either, um, I think that's made with a sort of makeup pen or something. Small tattoos on fingers, you know, you, you can't make them really detailed. Even if you do make them really nice on a finger, when it heals, it's going to be all mushy and it's going to grow like every dot, every line is going to grow a little bit. So I always suggest having finger tattoos simple. Yeah, like this. That's simple. It's a simple symbol. And even though it's going to grow a little bit and fade a little bit, it doesn't really matter because you're still going to understand the symbol. And I, I love finger tattoos. Uh, it, it could be really cool. So it's sort of like, if you want it, then do it. I'm not saying don't get tattooed on your fingers. I think I'm more saying don't get, you know, don't think that you're going to getting, going to get, <laughs> yeah, but I think you're getting what I'm saying here. Like try not to get the detailed minimalistic uh, motives of the fingers. It's not going to look well. So a full moon on a finger, just to answer your question, if it's sort of like a simple circle, go ahead. But don't try to make it like a realistic photograph of a full moon. It's never going to work. This is the Tat Chat with Electric Linda.